Purchase your copy of TurboCAD from CADCourse.net. And I'm going to show you one of our new mechanical tools now. Um, one that a lot of people really, really like. Um, so I'm going to set up a few things here. And... Uh, just let, let's briefly discuss those options there, if you could just bring them up again. A lo I'm sure a lot of our users don't realize that they have all of that functionality, they just need to turn it on. So right. if, if they right-click and go into the selector properties, you do have those uh, check boxes where you can turn right. certain fields on on the inspector bar down there at the bottom. Right. And uh, certainly those Delta X, Y, and Z, that's only been around for a, one or two versions now. Yeah. And uh, that's a particularly useful feature to be able to just move it a certain distance along one of those axes. Yeah, it, it, it's, it's extremely gorgeous. And um, people who, some of the power users who are familiar with altering the uh, coordinate systems using the, the entity user, the extents, and so on, um, will find that they'll get even more use out of that functionality with the deltas because that will allow you to, you know, not only orient by the world axes, but precisely move against the object's axes, which can be really, really nice. And that's the key. I mean, this is CAD, and we're talking about precision movement, not just being able to drag something and drop something, but actually being able to do it precisely. Uh, exactly. When, when you are an advanced user, you do want to have that flexibility, and that's certainly is one of the, the big bonuses with TurboCAD is that it's does offer you that type of flexibility when you need it. Now, one other uh, tip to, to other TurboCAD users. Um, when I turned all that on, obviously that, that's going to scroll across here. So I'm going to drop into my options, and I go to my desktop for program setup, and I'm just going to slam in 55 here, and that'll make these narrower. Um, usually I'm at a larger screen resolution, so they'll all fit across the screen, and I'll have access to all of them very easily like that. Um, and I'm going to select my circle. I'm going to take my delta Z. I'm going to say uh, negative 5. Uh, I'm going to say yes. It's going to give me a warning because it's a 2D object. I'm going to take um, these two objects. I'm going to give them a positive Z of 5. Uh, I'm going to turn off that warning. Um, let's look at the other thing. Uh, many warnings in TurboCAD can be turned off if, you know, and they're there to provide you um, guidance, but for power users, they can turn those off um, because they know what they're doing. Um, <clears throat> although it's nice to have it on every once in a while. Even as a power user, sometimes I, I trip and uh, go, why is it doing or not doing what I thought it was going to do? And usually if I go back and I turn on my warnings um, and then try and do it again, it'll tell me, well, you're being stupid. Um, and uh, that helps a lot. Right. So, uh, and you have full control over that in TurboCAD. A lot of other programs, it's very difficult to go in and figure out, you know, if you turn off a warning, what happens? TurboCAD, the warning dialogues are immediately accessible. You can turn them on and off, um, not only as they come up, but um, within the program setup itself. Um, one of the new tools we have here is the branched lofting tool. This is exceedingly cool. Um, it, instead of just being able to loft along one pattern, you can actually kind of create a tree. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select here, I'm going to select there, I'm going to say, okay, that's going to be my trunk. Finish the trunk. Select these as my first branch, these as my second branch, and these as my third branch. And finish and it's going to create a unique object. Let's, wow. look, at, let's look at that in uh, our, kind of our draft render view. Um, very nice for organic forms, and also very nice for certain types of mechanical forms. Um, you know, uh, I've used it to create trees and candelabras and uh, key sets. So it's uh, very nice. Oh, that is a nice addition, huh? Um, the the other uh, addition to lofting is ability to loft one face to another. Could, could yeah. you show us that? Sure. Uh, let's let's leave this object in here, uh, and I'm gonna grab my rectangle cube tool, and let's see. Let's just uh, slam in a cube. 
uh, he, he's way the hell off in space because I did that wrong. So let's, let's get something a little bit more rational. Uh, let's draw a cube down there. And then here's the, another function some users are not familiar with. Uh, if I want to move something but not terribly precisely along an axis, I can drag by the handlebar. I can come in here, hover over the bar when I get the excuse me, when I get those handles where it's across uh, arrows like that, I can just drag. And that goes along the axis in the direction of the axis, correct? Right. So that for if I don't need to do precise movement, and let's face it, I mean some people who are you know when, when you're using TurboCAD, you're being artistic, not as much as precision. And there are a lot of there are a lot of uh, enthusiast users who use this for right. creating things. Um, if, if you need the precision, then you'll just top the figure in the delta. If you just need to shift it along that axis, you can right. use that method. So as you can see, this cube is now hovering above the end of this uh, object I created, whatever we want to call that, um, some kind of uh, Organian spaceship, I suppose. And uh, we'll go in here and we'll get our face-to-face -face loftening. I'll select the top face of the, that loft, bottom face of the cube, and voila, oh, that instant is cool. transition. Very nice. Yeah, that I love, yeah. The only restriction for this is it won't allow you to do super tight lofts. Um, and it won't allow that are, that are uh, it's too difficult for it to interpret, interpolate. And it won't let you loft from an object to itself. Get this movie and many others in higher resolution from cadcourse.net.